Welcome, welcome to life journey. I'm still want to thank those prescribers that have subscribed to my video, knowing that God gonna bless you with the knowledge, the wisdom to obtain in this world. Now, for a couple of um, weeks, I've been speaking on Satan because Satan is a real person. He might be a spirit, but he's a person. And the only way Satan can operate, the only way Satan can work, if he gets in a body. What are you talking about? Just like in the garden, he got into the serpent. Hey, glory to God. Just like when, when a man was an issue, it was in a graveyard, and the demons tell Jesus, cast us not into the city, but cast us into the swine. And Jesus Christ said, go. And the demons went into the swine and they choked them. So I'm telling you, the only way Satan can work if he have a body. And it makes sure don't have your body because your body belongs to God. God wants your body. The devil looking for, for a body that's that's dirty, a body body that's filthy, a body that don't need God, and the devil jump into that body and use that body. There are many witches out there that Satan is using their body. They're using their body in conscience of spirits and, and portion to, to put on people. So Satan is using bodies and he can't work unless he have a body. And don't let the devil use your body because your body belong to God. Your body belong to the omnipotent, the, the omnipresent, the wonderful Savior. God died on the cross for you so your body belongs to God. Your body do not belong to Satan. Your body don't belong to demons. Your body don't belong to evil spirit that come to steal, kill, and destroy. So God looking for a body. And Satan looking for a body also. That's why Jesus Christ said, whosoever will, let him come. Hey, glory to God. And the demons are spirits. They looking for an unclean body to dwell in. And if you are a Christian, your body ought to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Because the Holy Ghost, glory to God, is the best person that can come into a body that is clean. A body that can use, glory to God. That's why the Bible says, you are bought with a price. Glorify God in your body. Because our body belongs to God. Our body should not be filled with wine. Our body should not be filled with fornication. Our body should not be filled, glory to God, with evilness. Hey, glory to God. Our body should not be filled with homosexuality or lesbianism. Our body should not be filled with witchcraft spirits. Glory to God. So I'm telling you, God looking for a body and Satan looking for for a body. What kind of body are you present to God? The Bible says, present your body as a living sacrifice, holy unto God, which is the reasonable servant, being not conformed to this world, but be transformed by renewing of your mind. So God looking for a body. Hey, glory to God. Does he have your body today? Your body is not the temple. It's not the temple of brick and mortar. Your body, God, hallelujah, God, is flesh and blood. Glory to God. That's why the Bible say flesh and blood should not inherit the kingdom of God. Oh, glory to God. So I'm telling you in this video, the devil don't have my body. Does the devil have your body? Glory to God. If the devil have your body, you come you can continually come committing fornication. If the if the devil still have your body, you are still indulging in homosexuality and lesbianism and bestiality and sodomite. Hey, glory to God. But if God have your body, oh, glory to God, you have a life of prayer. You have a life of praise. You have a life of promises. You have a life of saying hallelujah, glory to God. Does God have your body? My body belongs to God. My body don't belong to fornication. My body don't belong to adultery. My body don't belong in indulging in liquor or, or indulging in smoking weed. But my body belong to God in praise and worship and admiration to him because God have been too good to me. 
I don't have to wait till Easter, which is a paganistic day. I don't have to wait for Christmas, which is a pagan day. But I'm waiting for the soon coming of Jesus Christ. How do you wait? You wait by praying. You wait by praying. By, by staying the word of God. You wait by, by being around a Christian because it comes a time, my friend, where they're going to tell you you can't go to church no more. And they're going to tell you if you find praying, they're going to lock you up and put you in a coliseum and cheer to death. But I'm coming to tell the people of God that's watching this video. And if you're not a people of God, is you can be one right now. You can be a servant of the living God right now. Oh, glory to God. What you got to do? It's an ABC plan. The A, you got to accept him. Say, Jesus, come into my life right now and make me a believer. And the B, you got to bow down to him. Stop bowing to Buddha. Stop bowing to Hindu. Stop bowing to Allah, the, the sun god in Egypt. And confess. Confess that you are a sinner need to be saved. Confess that, Lord, come into my life and save me right now. And if you, you do those three ABC plans, God... God will come into your life, and D, he will deliver you. And E, you will enjoy him. And F, he become your father, which art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. And G, he become a good savior. And H, he's a high priest. He can come into your life. Just go to him, and God will come into you. So I'm telling you, my friend, the devil is looking for a body. But don't let him have your body. They call your body Haba. Hey Haba. Abba Father, your body belong to Jesus Christ. Your body belong to the one that died on the cross. The one that woke you up this morning. The one that starts you on your way. The one that say, oh Father, Father, it's me. It's me to stand in the need of prayer. Father, come into my life and save me. Redeem me. Oh, Habba, Father, I need you, Lord. Hallelujah, I need you right now. If you have a prayer, God will come into your life and save you. But God will not hear a prayer if you are not doing his will. He will not hear your prayer. But if you're doing his will, his ears will be open for your prayer. So I'm telling you, don't let Satan use your body. Call your body belongs to God. Young lady, your body belong, don't belong to that man. He's not married to you, but he's having sex with you. That's not the purpose. But you ought to give your body to God, and when you get married, your body still belongs to God, but your body belongs to your husband. Hey, glory to God. So, I thank you for watching this portion of life journey, and I thank you for enjoying the journey with me. So, so subscribe to my video and go to my website. If you need prayer, the prophet will pray for you 24-7. Listen, my friend, I need your, your prescription so I can travel the whole continent and Africa. Not just Africa. I can go to Mexico. I can go to Jamaica. I can go to France. I can go to Jerusalem. I can go to Israel. I can go to Pakistan. I can go all those places that people don't want to go to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm ready, my friend. I'm ready to go, but I need your prescription. I need your viewing. I need your prayer. Glory to God. So God can, can fulfill the promise in my life of preaching the undulterated gospel of Jesus Christ. I believe that God is looking for a body right now. As, as I close this video, Oh, Father God, right now, bless this person that's been watching this video faithfully, oh God. Give them a miracle. Give them a supernatural a miracle right now. Oh God, bless them right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you have said this prayer, welcome to the family. Welcome to the family of God. And today is your birthday. Happy birthday for you accepting our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He's coming back. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm saying, are you ready to meet him? I'm so glad to see that people are anxious for the soon coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Come, Lord Jesus. Come right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, come into our life right now. Come into our work site right now. Come into our bedroom right now. 
come into our kitchen right now. Come into while we travel to work right now. Oh God, bless us right now in the mighty matchless name of Jesus.